Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Chevron's $53 billion acquisition of Hess to boost production and cash flow, while Oxy Petroleum plunges amid mega deals by Exxon and Chevron. Find out which magnificent seven stock should be your top portfolio holding, and why Apple faces another report of weak iPhone 15 demand. Also, discover how NVIDIA and AMD are challenging Intel's dominance by making chips for Microsoft. Plus, learn why AI is set to transform all aspects of business in the coming years. Lastly, explore how Cleveland Cliffs beats expectations with Gap EPS of $0.52 cents and revenue of $5.6 billion, while Amazon and Google could potentially earn a combined $50 billion from renting out GPUs. Stay tuned after the short ad break to delve deeper into these stories. Chevron has agreed to acquire Hess in a deal valued at $53 billion. The transaction will be conducted entirely through the exchange of stocks, with Hess shareholders receiving 1.0250 shares of Chevron for each share they currently hold. This acquisition will expand Chevron's portfolio by incorporating assets located in Guyana and Bakken, resulting in increased production levels and improved free cash flow. The closure of this deal is anticipated to take place during the first half of 2024, and it is expected to generate cost synergies amounting to approximately $1 billion within one year. Notably, this announcement comes shortly after ExxonMobil's recent acquisition of Pioneer Natural Resources. Investors are currently focusing on mega-cap tech companies during this ongoing earnings season. Tesla has already reported strong results, and now the attention shifts towards Apple, Microsoft, Alphabet, Amazon, and NVIDIA. These five companies collectively represent a significant portion of the S&P 500's market capitalization. Consequently, their earnings have the potential to greatly impact the broader market. Without their contributions, S&P 500 earnings would experience a decline of 5%. The performance of these tech giants throughout this year has been both surprising and impressive. There are several key factors to monitor closely within this context. Firstly, it is important to observe Google's growth in terms of search and YouTube platforms. Additionally, Meta's user base expansion and introduction of new offerings should be closely watched. Furthermore, Microsoft's personal computing segment performance is worth noting as well as Amazon's ability to reassure investors regarding AWS as the leading cloud computing provider. Investment firm JP Morgan has recently reported that the demand for Apple's iPhone 15 is showing signs of weakening. According to JP Morgan's product availability tracker, the delivery lead times for the iPhone 15 have decreased for four consecutive weeks. Currently, the average delivery lead time across all models stands at 11 days. This is a notable decrease compared to last year's iPhone 14 lineup, which had an average lead time of 16 days, and even more so compared to the iPhone 13 lineup in 2021, which had an average lead time of 24 days. JP Morgan analysts have observed a similar trend globally, with delivery lead times reducing by approximately 7 days on average. This trend is also evident in key markets such as the U.S. and China, where China alone accounts for about 20% of all iPhone shipments. Other Wall Street firms have expressed concerns about this slowdown in iPhone shipments as well. In response to this weakening demand, Chinese e-commerce platforms are reportedly offering significant discounts on Apple's latest model. These discounts may be an attempt to stimulate sales and counteract the declining demand. Despite these concerns surrounding iPhone shipments, it is worth noting that Apple stock has experienced a slight increase of 0.3% on Monday. NVIDIA and AMD are planning to sell PC chips using ARM Holdings architecture by 2025. Currently, AMD relies on Intel's x86 architecture for its processors, while Qualcomm dominates the market for ARM-based chips and laptops. Microsoft is also aiming to compete with Apple's M1 chip by developing its own Windows-compatible chips. This strategic move has the potential to disrupt Intel's long-standing dominance in the Windows-based PC market. Notably, Apple has recently expanded its PC market share to 10.6% in Q3 2020, as reported by JP Morgan. 
Artificial intelligence, commonly referred to as AI, is poised to revolutionize American businesses by enhancing efficiency and productivity while simultaneously reducing labor costs. Prominent companies like Apple, Microsoft, Amazon, Google, NVIDIA, and Meta Platforms Incorporated have already begun implementing AI and are experiencing the advantages it brings. Noah Blackstein, a senior portfolio manager at Dynamic Funds, highlights that AI offers unparalleled returns on investment and substantial gains in productivity. The technology has been swiftly adopted, with AI bots like GPT significantly slashing production time and labor expenses by more than 90%. An example of its impact can be seen in Brazilian oil company Petrobras, which saved $120 million in tax payments within just three weeks of implementing Automation Anywhere's generative AI software. Blackstein predicts that the next wave of successful tech companies will be driven by data centers, chip makers, and software developers such as Snowflake Data Cloud and MongoDB. He further anticipates that AI will transform various sectors including retail, healthcare, industrials, and energy over the coming years or even decades. Occidental Petroleum stock dropped 3.8% after Chevron's $53 billion deal to acquire Hess, eliminating a potential buyer for Occidental. ExxonMobil's recent $59.5 billion deal with Pioneer Natural Resources also makes it unlikely for them to purchase Occidental. ConocoPhillips is valued at $150 billion, making it difficult for them to digest Occidental's $55 billion value. European energy companies Shell, BP, and Total Energies are unlikely to make major U.S. deals due to pressure from climate activists. However, there may still be future deals in the energy sector involving Devon Energy and Chesapeake Energy considering potential acquisitions of Marathon Oil and Southwestern Energy respectively. Analysts expect more deals in the coming months with companies like ConocoPhillips and Cotera Energy benefiting from greater scale while smaller players like Civitas Resources and Permian Resources become acquisition targets. Cleveland Cliffs recently announced its third quarter earnings. The results surpassed expectations, with a gap EPS of $0.52 cents and revenue totaling $5.61 billion. During this period, Cleveland Cliffs achieved steel shipments of 4.1 million net tons, including an all-time high in automotive shipments. The company's adjusted EBITDA reached $614 million, while cash flow from operations amounted to $767 million. Additionally, free cash flow stood at $605 million. In terms of financial position, Cleveland Cliffs successfully reduced its net debt to $3.4 billion and maintained record liquidity at $4.4 billion. Looking ahead, the company anticipates further cost reductions in steel unit costs and has revised its full-year 2023 capital expenditures expectation to be around $670 million. Following this positive news release, shares of Cleveland Cliffs experienced a 2.2% increase in value. Investment firm Morgan Stanley predicts that Amazon and Google have the potential to increase their sales by offering access to hard-to-obtain GPUs. The market for GPU infrastructure as a service is projected to reach $44 billion by 2025 and potentially exceed $60 billion by 2026. This opportunity could generate approximately $30 billion in revenue for Amazon and around $20 billion for Google. Despite currently ranking third in IaaS, Google's prospects could improve significantly. These estimates are based on the introduction of NVIDIA's A100, H100, and B100 chipsets. Both Amazon and Google experienced a slight uptick in early Monday trading. Thank you for joining us on the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay inspired, and remember that success is just a decision away. Goodbye. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Good night for now, until we cross paths again tomorrow. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.